welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Brittany and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I got this fresh dewy spring look it's so new to me but I really love it and I love the way how it turned out and it's super easy it's definitely beginner friendly so without any further ado here's the video tell me what you say now tell me what you say come again if you cannot stay down then you do not have to pretend like there is no way out. I just want to start this video by saying this is the second time that I'm filming it. Due to lighting, due to whenever I move my room around to try to film in a different area, the lighting just happens to be off, but I think I got it down pat, so let's get right into the video. So starting right off, I'm going to use my Laneige Hydro Water Cream and mix it with my Moon Cosmetics Rose Galore. I added two drops of that. And then I'm going to go in with my La Rouge Pose Vitamin C Serum. Vitamin C Serum is so good for your skin to brighten it. Especially if you suffer from hyperpigmentation. It will brighten it up. So I mix all that together in my hand. And I go throughout my neck and my whole face. So moving right along, I'm going to use my Poil of Choice sunscreen. I know in the past, us melanated folks, us POCs were under the impression that we didn't need sunscreen. Even though our skin can withstand the sun a little bit more than others, you still need that sunscreen. Right now, I'm using my Sephora eye cream. I tend to have dry under eyes. I always did. That's why when everyone was like all hyped about the Ben Nye um, eye cream, I never was. I never was because it used to dry my under eyes out so freaking bad. Y'all already know the deal. My Scandinavia Oil Free um, Priming Spray. I never really use any other type of primers. And the most I will use is my Becker Pore um, Matte Poreless Primer. But this, honestly, it just does the job. So we're working with more of a dewy type of makeup look today. So you want to make sure that your makeup is setting properly because the natural oils of your face will shine through. And you also use oil, so you don't want to look greasy. So you just want to be, you want to look dewy in the right places. So to help with that, I'm going to use my Scandinavia Finishing Spray. This is the spray that I use on my face at the end of the look. But I like to spray in between um, every time I put down a cream, um, a cream or a liquid on my face. They are the Fenty Ease Drops in the color 16 and 17. If I forget to say something, please... Don't panic. It's literally in the description bar, y'all. Literally. I promise. So, I basically mixed both of them. Um, I got 16 by itself. Too light. I got 18. Too damn dark. And then I got 17. It was alright, but then it was still a little too dark. And then keep in mind that this does oxidize. So, the thing that... The next best thing was that I just had to get both and mix. Um... It may look like I'm putting on a lot. I'm not. If you know anything about BB creams or tinted moisturizers, they are very watery. So, it's very lightweight. So, you might have to, depending on the um your skin, and if you have skin imperfections, you might have to go a little bit heavier, add more, or sometimes, honestly, that just doesn't work. So, what you'll have to do is just go over your imperfections with some concealer because the concealer is way thicker. And that's what it's there for. It's there to... Conceal too high. So right now, I'm going to just blend this down. Don't forget to blend your neck. Don't worry, I'm making my rounds. I'm going to get there in a second. Always bring it down to your neck. I tell you that all the time. It snitches on you. And if you're a lighter skin tone, then make sure you get behind your ears too. Especially if you're someone who wears your hair. And a ponytail a lot because baby, you don't want to be one color and then behind your ear got you looking crazy. Moving along, we're gonna go in with the Born This Way concealer in the color Mocha. 
and I'm going to correct and conceal with this all my problem areas. I don't know why I just put it on my forehead because my forehead ain't never been a problem. Let's blend that out. My window is open, so I'm sorry if y'all can hear. I don't know what the hell they do. My neighbors is always doing something, always fixing cars. It's very annoying. It's moving along, we're going to go into the Born This Way Concealer in the color Golden Beige. And we're just going to set it down in the areas that we would like to highlight. I'm doing my makeup exactly the way I had it that day, and um, yeah, I didn't have none above my lip, but we're going to do that today, because why not? I'm going to let that sit there and dry down while I add some contour on my nose, which is going to be the Hue to Beauty contour in the color, um, it's a concealer in the color Maple Syrup, and I'm just going to put that down. My nose, that's the only thing I'm contouring today because when I did this look, I didn't contour at all. Because one thing about me, I don't care what's going on in the world, I'm going to contour my nose. I like to define my nose. Give myself a bridge that I don't have. And that's it for contour today. That's so not like me because I usually over, I kill bronzer, I kill contour, but nope, not today. So, we're going to blend this out, but we're still going to let the concealer sit because as you know, as I've said in the past, the reason for me doing that is because when it dries down, it becomes more thick and opaque and you lose less product by blend when you're blending it out. Because if you ever notice when you start blending out your concealer right away, it tends to move around, it's not that thick, and then you keep on having to add layer after layer after layer to get it to where the consistency and the thickness... Um, to how you like it. So let's blend the nose out. This concealer, I feel like you have to move it up a little bit quicker. It's not really a, a drying concealer, but I feel like it kind of, I don't know. I feel like it kind of gets stuck. I can't explain it. Like it kind of just gets stuck if you don't move it quickly. But now that we contour the nose, we blended it out. We're going to blend out our under eye. And don't be afraid if you feel like you got to go in more than one time to get to build up your concealer the way you would like it. Or, you know, it's makeup. It washes off. You'll be all right. Because right now, I can already see that it's not as bright as I would like it. So, I already know for a fact that my mama going to go in again with a second coat of concealer but I'm not gonna make it like overly bright how I would normally do it um simply because I'm looking for more of a fresh a fresh look like a fresh springtime look like you know I'm not trying to do like a mattifying bright going out to the club type of a look the purpose of me always dragging my concealer down my nose um is to snatch my nose to make it thinner it literally helps with the contour it helps with the placement of the contour and everything like that it helps to find it more and we're gonna move on to the forehead and i like to go right there by the arch of my eyebrow and stop and then i flip it over and i blend out the edges so that it's not harsh. That's what you always want to do is make sure that you're flipping your sponge back and forth so that there's nothing harsh. So while my camera overheated, I went in and added a second layer of concealer. Right now I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. It's the color corrector and I'm going to use that as blush. And I'm going to put it in all the areas that I would highlight. And not highlight, contour. And I'm going to blend that out. It's a cute little way to use that as blush, like as a cream blush. I just realized that I didn't do my nose highlight. So I just put a little there. So when I'm done highlighting, I don't know why I keep saying highlighting. When I'm done blending out the concealer, I'll do that. 
and you just want to blend upwards you never want to blend down because that drags down your face i like to go up to my temple you don't have to ladies and gentlemen you don't have to but that's just what i'm gonna do let me make sure my lace ain't out. I hate getting makeup on my lace. That's like my pet peeve. That's why it's like, ugh. Even when I be seeing people getting their makeup done. And just a complete disregard for the lace that some of these artists be having. I be like, girl, protect the lace at all costs. So right now, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier powder. And I'm going to set my under eye. The first thing to do with setting your under eyes, I don't bake. If you bake, that's cool. I just don't bake. I don't need to bake. I I protect my dry under eyes. And baking ages like crazy. But I just make sure that there are no creases in my makeup before I go in and set. So I put a little of my Laura Mercier powder in the top. And I just... Tap off the excess and on the same sponge while it's damp, I just begin to set. And already you can see like a major difference in my highlighted areas. Um, I learned this trick of using the damp sponge that you're already using by Makeup by Mario. Um, and basically when... You use like a bra, uh, a bra. When you use like a dry sponge, what ends up happening is sometimes like it can it can set patchy and it could cling to like you know certain spots of your face and just leave like ugly patchy dry marks. If that's ever happened to you, it's because it's dry. I know a lot of people use a powder puff and it seems to look good. I've never actually used one, but using the damp sponge it just it just helps it to go on more smoother and velvety for me so yeah so i literally just push the product in my face i literally go in on the side of my nose because that's a place that my makeup likes to separate and right there by my nose hole and i set then with whatever's left because we use a lot of moisturizer i'm gonna set like around my mouth with the um powder as well go over the rest of my face with whatever's left i love to set around my mouth simply because when i eat when i drink chewing or if i'm chewing gum whatever like it tends to just come off quicker again with my studio fix foundation powder in the color nc50 so we're just gonna bring it down our neck too and we're going to be sure to cover all the areas that we added foundation. We're going to basically go around where we put the cream blush, where we use the correct as blush. I don't really see a need to touch it. I'm going to switch my brush out for a smaller brush so I can get by my hairline. And I'm going to add powder. You don't want to really go over where you put blush at because what's the point, you know? So, I did not contour at all. Only contoured my nose. So, right now, I'm just going to go into my favorite. But, yo, I used to love MAC blushes so much. And I have them and I don't touch them because I had, like, this love-hate with blush. But, I'm in love again. And, look at that. Look how pigmented. These are Sephora blushes. I can't get enough of them. They're dual blushes and they're super affordable. This is in the color Tiger Lily. And I used to only focus my blush on the high points, on the high points of my cheek, but now I bring that bitch down. And I bring it like under my eye a little, a little, not a lot. But I just feel like it gives you a pretty flushed, fresh color. And I'm bringing it down. And you know, feel free to sweep the blush that you already have back and forth as many times as you want just to make sure that it's blended in properly and it's not just sitting there looking awkward because at the end of the day gorgeous gorgeous girls over blush look how pretty that looks look how it took my makeup up a level like look how it took it up a notch so 
I'm going to add a little bit what's left on my forehead and then some on my nose. So we're not really using... It's okay to wipe up your brush if you feel like you have too much on your brush. We're not, remember, we're not using bronzer. So this is like basically replacing my bronzer. And it's going to make you look pretty, fresh, awake. So like I said, the only thing we're going to contour is our nose. We cream contour, so now we're going to follow up with a powder contour. I'm going to bring you in. Is that too close? Stop dancing, dancing, come close. So what I'm doing is I already mapped out with cream contour where I wanted my nose bridge to be defined. So I'm just circling back up and down in circular motions and then I'm going to when I get to the top of my bridge I'm going to connect it to my eyebrow. And that's all we're doing. That's it. So, moving along, I'm going to use my same concealer, the Born This Way, and the color Golden Beige as an eyeshadow base. Now, don't be talking crap about me because at the end of the day, I already told y'all, it's been a while since I've been doing eyeshadows and I gotta get back in the groove of things. So, I'm just basically going to be doing a brown wash on my eyelid right now I'm just blending it out smoothly because this is my eyeshadow base so I'm gonna be taking a morphe m330 brush and the bronzer I'm gonna be taking a glamour bronze bronzer and basically I'm just going to tap and pat on the color until I build it up into a color that I like so just tap and basically you're going to tap on the areas that you want to cover, which is basically the whole lid. But also I'm going to blend it out towards my eyebrow. I see this girl on TikTok do it all the time and my goal in life is to master that. So now I'm just going to use circular motions and diffuse all the harsh lines. So I'm just... Blending this out with another brush from, I believe it's from Shop Miss A, but I'm just fixing my contour because I don't want it to look harsh or muddy. I love this mascara so much. I don't know. I've tried other mascaras in the past and some of them are really good, but I just love this. It's very, I don't know how to say it, like it's very juicy. <laughs> If that's even a thing, like, it's not like a dry mascara. Some mascaras, when you pull it straight out the tube, it's, it's dried out like, like you left the cover off. So, these are the lashes in the saw Prissy. They're very wispy and flirty. So, we're going to just put these on. And they're on. Okay, so we're just going to brush off the contour that we put on our nose, the satin powder that we used to define our nose bridge and any excess powder. So we're going to be using this lip pencil from Wet n Wild. It's literally like my holy grail. I use it all the time. It's actually an eyeliner, but it has such a cool tone. I normally use warm tone browns, but it has such a cool tone. I really love it. It's an eyeliner. It's in the color Think Mink. And I'm going to overline. Right. And then we're going to follow it up with another lip liner in the color Stone. Which is also a cool tone and it's from MAC Cosmetics. Everything is listed in the description bar. Oh, shit. Um, I'm using gloss from Sephora in the color Not Today, because Not Today. And it's so, so good. It's light and super buttery. It gives you the shine that you want, but it's not like thicky. Thicky. It's not sticky. And I love that for us. 
Because there's nothing worse than putting on lip gloss and putting on a bunch of it. And then you get like that little white cast when you're talking. Very ugly. So moving along. Ah! We're going to go into our Satin Spray from Scandinavia. And we're just going to set our face. Okay, so this is the conclusion of the tutorial for the Dewy Fresh Spring Look. Um, I hope you guys love it as much as I love it. It's something different for me and... I thought it was super cute and it was super easy to do. It's definitely beginner friendly. Don't be afraid to tell me what you want to see in the future in the comments. And I keep saying that because nobody really responds. So I end up like scrambling my brain to figure out what you guys want to see. And it would be much easier if you guys tell me. Because sometimes you guys just end up saying the same things over. Which is like vlogs. Which is stuff that I already do. But yeah. Um... Please turn on your post notifications so you never miss an upload. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And it lets YouTube know that you like seeing me. So they'll push my videos. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Tell me what you say now. Tell me what you say. Come again. If you cannot stay down.